It's the YMSL Network Week 4 Game of the Week. Bad News Bears playing against Exit 105 on Memorial 2. Morris Kasten up with the bases loaded. Bad News Bears up 2-1. to one. Chance to break the game open, but he grounds out. Nice play by Sully. And then we go to the bottom of the third. Morris Sham is up for Exit 105. Down 3-1. to one. Pop up. Charles Saka makes a nice play in the middle of a huddle there. Short center field making the catch. Ariel Beavis scores on the sacrifice fly. And now the score is 3-2. to two. Eli Harari with a chance to come back. And a fly out with some runners on. So now we move to the bottom of the fourth. Ezra Sakal gets up with the bases loaded. Chance to break it open. And pops out way ahead of that pitch. So Eli Harari is up in the bottom of the fifth. Runners on. Little uh, bad hop there for Charles Saka. And Eli Harari is on first. Nathan Tao is on third. And with exit 105 down 3-1. to one, Sally Tao with a single. Scoring his father. How appropriate. And exit 105 is now down 3-2. to two. And we go to the, still in the same inning, Jack Hatted, chance to score Eli. Fly ball, Jake Duck with a sliding catch. Nice play by Jake in left field, 2012 Rookie of the Year. And Bad News Bears hold the lead 3-2, to two. so up comes Robert Braha in the top of the sixth. Fly ball, center field, Eli Harari tries to get the man at home, scoring, but he scores anyway. The man at second is able to tag. Probably should have thrown to second there, no chance getting the guy at home. So up comes David R. Towell, a.k.a. T., and he grounds out to Morris Kasson. Morris throws the first for the out. It actually should have been called a foul ball, but the umpire, Mike, uh, had no idea what the rule was. The rule actually in baseball and softball, if the ball crosses the plane across the foul line before third base and the fielder fields it, it's an out. So Ezra Sakal gets up with the runners on. Down by two. Jake Dweck playing very in in left field, and Sakal rips the ball over his head. That's an RBI double. Hall of Famer Jack had it scoring. Ezra Sakal pumped up. His team is down 4-3. His college roommate, Charles Saka, giving him a nice high five at seconds. Elie Batesh gets up. Chance to tie the game. It's a, it's a dead quail. But there's a big controversy here. Ezra Sakal, if you look at the slow motion, Ezra Sakal makes contact with Eddie Rishi trying to field the ball. There wasn't really a play at first, but argument ensues regardless. And rules expert Eddie Michon steps in to explain to the umpires why it should have been interference. Yeah, he's entitled to that statement. No one interferes. You didn't have a chance to get anybody out. It's the one that's job. It's the one that's job to get out of the way. It's the one that's responsibility to get out of the way. I don't want to fight with you. You're not fighting with me, it's sir. The it's the one's responsibility to get out of the way. He didn't get out of the way. Listen, he was running. The guy was running far. There was I no interference. Everybody's entitled that nobody was. Nobody did no, anything maliciously. I agree with you. Right. That I agree with. I know malicious intent. But the runner has a responsibility to allow the field the room to field the ball. Read the rule. That's his call right there. He said there was no interference. I agree with him. Mission, mission. He called it. Mike, Mike. He but the rule is the one has to. How did he make the play? He ran into him. How could you say such a thing? What it might have? It's I don't understand why you're making assumption. He might have made the play. That's irrelevant. So then why you Get on the field. Let's go. Wasn't really a play at first, but Eddie Michel might have a point. We don't know. Nathan Towell with a single, meanwhile, and that will tie the game. Opposite field, nice piece of hitting there. And then Mo Shama comes up in a tie game and rips the ball to the outfield. That's to take the lead, scoring Elliot Patesh. And then an errant throw to third. The ball goes out of play. That's two bases from the point of the throw. And Nathan Towell scores 6 4. Nice comeback by exit 105. It's not, oh, could he have got him out? I agree. Elliot would have been safe. That's irrelevant. I agree, Elliot would have been safe. That's not relevant. All right, Eddie Michon still on that call. Meanwhile, Eshko, two outs, top of the seventh, down two runs, fly out. Nathan makes the catch. And that's the game. Exit 105, taking down the undefeated Bad News Bears. Bears go on to win game two and split, and exit 105 and Bad News Bears are still tied for first as we enter week five. This is your YMSL Network Game of the Week, Bad News Bears and exit 105. Thank you for watching.